The Help by Katherine Stockett, G.P. Putnam Sons, 2009. The help referred to by the title are African American maids living in Jackson, Mississippi during the early 1960s, a period when career options for women of color living in the South were limited. These maids grew up in families where women worked as domestics for generations. Almost all grew up knowing that when their families needed the money, they would drop out of school and join their mothers learning the ways of a world that was so geographically close but so very different from their own. Finding long-term employment in a good home required excellent housekeeping, child-rearing, cooking, laundering, and serving skills, and at a time when looking at a white person the wrong way could end in lynching, it also demanded that the employee know their place and stay in it, suffering indignities with a bowed head, cast down eyes, and mouth closed except to say, yes ma'am or no sir. The help unfolds in, a nar in the narrative of three individuals. Abilene is an experienced, loving, and kind-hearted maid who goes to work for a less well-to-do family following the death of her only child. Minnie is a wife and mother with a spunky attitude. As a maid, she's as well known for her superior cooking as she is for losing control of her sharp tongue. Eugenia, known as Skeeter, is an aspiring writer who returns to Jackson after graduating from Ole Miss with a degree other than MRS. Skeeter's life after college revolves around her duties as the editor of the Junior League newsletter. She also attends bridge parties and other, other social engagements while trying to determine how to begin a career as a writer. Her mother believes Skeeter's energies would be better spent trying to meet a future husband. After Skeeter receives advice from a New York editor about writing about something that hasn't been written about before, she convinces Abilene and Minnie to help her get maids in the area to tell their stories about what it's really like to work for some of the area's most prosperous families. While Abilene and Minnie understand that telling tales on white families could not only destroy their own families and end in incarceration or death, Skeeter has no real idea about what working on this project will cost her and the two maids she enlists to get the book off the ground. Skeeter learns that while the times they are changing, instigating change sometimes comes at a very high cost. The help doesn't just deal with racial issues. It also looks at bullying. Bullies can be any age and can be found at any socioeconomic level. They don't care what color you are, and those who try to stop bullying sometimes end up as casualties. The help is a quick read with a gossipy feel. If you live through the 60s in the South, nothing here will really surprise you. But it may bring back memories, both good and bad. The Help has been made into a major motion picture that will be in theaters this August.